Okay, time for another pumpkin update. Uh, see if we can get this phone to keep working. We're going to walk down through the pumpkins. I told you last week I thought were porcelain dolls, and that's exactly what they are. Uh, so we'll just hit the highlights on some of them. Uh, this is an average size one. Uh, this one is a little larger than average. There's quite a few in here. I think these are uh, 105, 110 day pumpkins. Those are the same three I put in there last week and they're a little bigger. We got a little bit of rain, but there's some really, really large ones in here. That one's nice and thick. And we're on the downward side of a hill here. And the hill goes all the way down to the bottoms where there's a creek. But it never gets enough water to worry about flooding anything because I'm up on the hillside. There's another one. Oh, here's a nice one over here. Pretty good size. And I don't know if you can tell the size of these. I'll put my foot next to it. Maybe you can get an idea how big it is next to my foot. It's probably uh, 25 inches round. I have those two big ones probably weigh 30 pounds already. And they'll start turning. They're kind of a pinkish color eventually, so they call them porcelain dolls. Lots of them in here. I'd say there's probably a hundred of them in here. I'm not showing you all of them, just some of them. But the interesting part is the farther I go, the bigger they get. They just keep getting bigger. This is on kind of the hillside and it slopes. Pretty good size again. But somewhere along here, I saw it when I sprayed. I just sprayed for uh, squash beetles, squash bugs. A couple of nice ones back over here. And another one. Well, what I wanted to show you was there is a Kentucky field pumpkin in here, if I can find it. It's a big, longer looking, similar in color, but and it must have gotten mixed in or a replant somehow. I may have to go back the other direction if I can't find it. While we're over here, we'll look at the Mr. Wrinkles pumpkins. That's what's in this row here. And they're pretty good size. You can see the size of it next to my foot. Lots of big lines in it. And we're going to walk down here and look at the Montana gold. Some of these have really gotten big since last week. And they don't all have points on the bottom of them. Here's one. Depends, I think, a lot of it on how it grows. This one here has got a nice flat bottom on it. You can see my foot next to it so you can kind of tell how big it is. This one's really big. This is bigger than last week's. So that's probably over 45 pounds. There's another one that's got a nice flat bottom on it. It'll just keep getting bigger. Uh, the one I measured last week is actually this one up here. And it weighed 45 pounds last week. I don't know if it's gotten any bigger or not, but there's quite a few of them in here.
another really good one. I don't put anything under these. If I were trying to get them to get big, bigger, I guess I'd put styrofoam or something under it, but all that does is give a chance for the squash beetles to get on the underside of the pumpkin and hide, so I don't do that. I don't know what's going on with this one. This one's kind of striped. It's still sp supposed to be a Montana gold. Some of them are paler, paler yellow than others. There's a nice, there's a nice big one there. Got a pointed bottom. And they have, stem is more like a squash. They have real thick sides too. The sides might be two and a half, three inches thick. I think there's some short rows in here. There may be seven rows, and they're all man Montana Golds. I haven't had any deer eat any of these, but uh, when I spray for the insects, I spray the pumpkin too to keep the insects from wanting to get on there and eat. There's another Mr. Wrinkles. And this may stop recording on the way back to the vehicle, but I'm going to go back fairly fast and see if I can find that Kentucky Field Pumpkin. I think it's over here. Like I said, it may shut off. May not get to see it this week. Ah, I see it. I believe it's down here. Nope, that's not it. I guess I need to put a flag next to it so I can find it next time. Uh, I guess that'll be it for the update. I believe today may be the 5th of August. Uh, I'm not really sure. Since I'm retired, I don't pay much attention to the calendar anymore. But we'll do another video in a couple days. Thanks for watching.